and I'm getting closer and closer to finishing my custom intake plenum. Okay, I've got everything pretty much tacked together. I tacked the runners onto the back of the plenum. I cut these holes out. They're not big enough yet. I'm going to have to cut them, grind them out with my grinder just to get them just right so they're nice and smooth. Got a, enough tacks on here to hold this thing together nice and tight. So I'm getting ready to put it back on and see what it, see the, see how she fits. Test fitting this back on here. Everything fit, lined up real nicely. I went ahead and uh, welded the runners completely in around on this side and this side. Well, I didn't get a video, but I did a I did the spot welds all the way around, like one here, one there, one here, one there. Try to keep everything from from torquing or twisting, and I did a pretty good job. But this is pretty darn flat still might uh, just take my belt sander to it make sure I get it good and flat but uh, I went ahead and then cleaned up all the welds and since they were spot welds I forced this um, JB weld in here good to 600 degrees and uh, it should seal pretty nicely here but I forced it up into the all the cracks and joints so I have an airtight seal all the way around okay on the inside here I went ahead and grind these, ground these out till they hit exactly the edge of the pipes. And on this side, I have it all real smooth. Everything is cleaned up and ground down all the way around the edge, so it's real smooth flow from the one end to the other end. I'm still going to uh, grind the edge of this a little bit to give it a little bit more smoothness around the holes. But uh, what I'm working on right now is the plate that's going to go behind this and that's right here so I'm gonna go ahead and get this drilled out everything cleaned up smoothed out for this hole and the bolt holes and I've got this little piece of steel here that I'm going to actually tack my nuts to here you can see I'm gonna make a backing plate to attach the throttle body with I'm not going to use this plate I'm going to use this plate here with these uh, nuts so I'm getting ready to weld these on I've screwed that through this piece that came with it so it's nice and straight I got my nuts tied down here so I'm gonna weld these nuts onto this plate see if the nuts are on it's welded in place I've also painted the inside I've cleaned everything up so it's all painted with some high performance uh, rust inhibiting paint this is tape on the flange so what I'm gonna do uh, now is I actually I'm putting a little deflector plate in here. You can see I cut this slot. So this little deflector plate fits in there. And that'll have some holes it cut in it. Um, the deflector plate goes in there like this. And I, need, I put it in like this because I need to be able to get in here and seal this up. When I'm done, I'm going to put on my little plates here like this and get all that welded together here pretty soon.